Hello Dr. Bajit, we are from class 1A, second group and this video is about a diesel engine. This group consisting of 5 members which is me, myself, RB, Masrina, Faizal, Ayman and the cameraman Zulhavi. So I'm going to start the video with the introduction about the diesel engine. Diesel engine, or known as compression ignition engine, are widely used in larger transportation such as bus and truck because of its power uh, greater than the petrol engine. In early year of discover, diesel engine is used in car and have been compared with petrol engine. So if you want to know more about this diesel engine, then we will explain it later on in this video. I am going to explain the theory about the diesel engine. It has been found by Rudolf Diesel in 1982 based on second law of thermodynamics. We know that reversible process has higher efficiency than the reversible process. Current cycle is a process that has almost the same efficiency with the reversible process. From this current theory, Rudolf Diesel has come up with an idea to create an engine that has high efficiency by using adiabatic process. That where diesel fuel is ignited by compressed air inside the chamber, creating explosion that push the piston and producing the mechanical work that rotate the shaft. Okay guys, now I want to explain you guys how this engine design works. Okay, what we have here is a, a prototype of a diesel engine. Okay, first of all, this diesel engine uh, operates by repeating a cycle of four stages which are intake, compression, power and exhaust. Okay then, for the first part, as the piston moving down, the air will be entering the cylinder to the air in the valve. Okay then, due to the rotational energy in the crankshaft, the piston will be moving upwards. Okay, the piston will be compressed the air mixture in the cylinder. The high compression in the cylinder will make the temperature of the air to rise. So after that, at the top of the compression, the fuel will be directly injected into the chamber that will make the combustion to occur. And indirectly, uh, push the piston towards down Wait, okay, for the final stage, the exhaust valve will be open and then the piston will be pushed out the exhaust gas in the chamber to the exhaust pipe. Okay, we're going to move into the integration performance pipe. Uh, integration performance pipes, we're going to talk about two main points, which is specific fuel consumption and then horsepower and in specific fuel consumption uh, specific fuel consumption is defined as fuel consumption per time and then it is inversely proportional to the efficiency of the engine okay diesel engine has low specific fuel consumption compared to petrol engine uh, this conclude that the lower the specific fuel consumption the higher the efficiency of the engine Okay, the second uh, main point is horsepower. Horsepower is defined as the power needed to raise 75 kg of mass to 1 meter vertically in, in one second. Which is, uh, we came up with this equation. Torque time RPM over 5,252 5, is equal to horsepower. Torque is a rotational force that is produced when the combustion happen and push the crankshaft uh, to rotate in its axis whereas revolution per minute which or RPM 
uh, is defined as the number of rotation of the crankshaft in one minute. In conclusion, diesel when in combustion process produce higher top, thus given the longer stroke to the piston, create low uh, revolution per minute of the crankshaft, uh, in resulting less horsepower to the diesel engine. I will make a simple comparison between diesel engine and petrol engine. Why we choose petrol engine to compare with diesel engine? Because petrol engine and diesel engine has, uh, is uh, quite similar. Okay, for petrol engine, um, petrol engine needs spark plug to ignite fuel in the chamber to create a combustion because uh, petrol engine have less compression ratio. Okay, what is compression ratio? Compression ratio is the ratio of the maximum to minimum volume in the cylinder of the internal combustion. We can determine co compression ratio by CR equal to V1 over V2. V1 stands for uncompressed volume. V2 stands for compressed volume. Uh, present about the component details uh, of diesel engine. So the first component details is cylinder block. So the uh, cylinder block actually is the main part of diesel engine where the combustion of fuel takes place. And the component, the other component such as piston, um, connecting rod, crankshaft and water jacket are all bolted on it. Next is piston. So for piston, it compresses the air fuel mixture and converts fuel energy to mechanical energy and also transmit the the power to the crankshaft. Next is cylinder head. So basically, the cylinder head it functions to seal the working end of cylinder and not to permit any entry or exit um, of gases on the head of the valve. Moving on to the next component, which is uh, connecting rod. So, connecting rod connects the crankshaft and transmits the motion and thrust of the piston to the crankshaft. Uh, next is crankshaft. So, basically, the crankshaft transmits the reciprocating motion of piston into rotary motion. Uh, rotary motion is uh, used to rotate wheel of the vehicle and it is located of the of the bottom of the cylinder block. This is the oil sum where all the, of all the oil of lubricating are placed on it. Uh, this is the camshaft. Um, the camshaft, um, the function of the camshaft is to open and close um, valve at proper timing in multi-cylinder engine. And next is valve. Um, it regulates the flow of air fuel mixture inside the cylinder and, and exhaust um, gas outside the cylinder block. This is the injector um, which is used to um, inject the fuel in spray foam. Next is gasket. Um, so the function of the gasket is to is used to seal the cylinder head and the cylinder so no pressure is allowed to move. A uh, guardian pin or also known as piston pin, um, it connects the piston to the connecting rod and last but not least, um, engine bearing. So there are two types of engine bearing which is sliding bearing and rolling bearing. Um, it is used to support the moving parts. Now we are in the Q&A session. We have five questions here. First question, can we use petrol instead of diesel in diesel engine? The answer is no, because uh, if it's such that like we put a high motility fuel in the chamber of high compression air, it will occur a damage to the engine. Uh, so, second question is why most racing car use petrol engine? The answer, the answer is um, this engine is heavier compared to petrol engine. That's why they use petrol engine instead of diesel engine. Okay, the third question is 
Why can we use one big cylinder instead of four cylinder? If we use one big uh, chamber, uh, we creating a large combustion effect. This damage the engine. Question four: Which consume less fuel, diesel or petrol? Okay, my answer is diesel. Why? Because diesel fuel has more energy than gasoline, which is diesel has longer hydrocarbon chain compared to gasoline. Besides that, the engine is more efficient because of higher compression ratio, longer stroke, and lack of throttle plate. Thank you. Question number five: Can we put spark plug at diesel engine? Yes, we can, but it won't give any function to the diesel engine because the diesel already uh, ignite because of the compression, and without the spark plug, the diesel is still working as we want.